Hey, what's up? So George Wood has passed away. Uh, those of you who don't know who Dr. George Wood is, he's a former superintendent of the Assemblies of God. He was also involved in the World Pentecostal Congress. He is all, also was involved in Empower 21, among other things. Uh, so I want to give a prophetic picture, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story, kind of how I crossed paths with him many years ago. Um, and then I want to talk to you a little bit about something I've been studying. It's very connected to the, with the past name, George Wood. Uh, years ago, I was probably 23, maybe. Um, I was at a meeting, and I was struggling. I'm a prophetic person, and the Pentecostal movement, and pastors are very leery of prophecy to a degree. They kind of, oh, I don't know, um, because they've had bad experiences. And there was a lot of that of, what do we do with this guy that, you know, legitimately hears from God, but this is, you know, dangerous. A lot of people saw prophecy as dangerous and mm -hmm. counterproductive for pastoral care, which it normally is. Um, so I was, so there was a lot of, uh, we don't know what to think of this guy. And um, it was in a meeting. George Wood walks over to me. Uh, to my knowledge, doesn't know who I am. Anyways, to my knowledge. And he prays for me. And one of the things he prays, he says, there's always a place at the table for you. And, you know, for years, I've kind of tossed that around of what that actually means. But he said, there's a place at the table for you. And he was kind of cautious of prophetic people. Because, I mean, he had seen a lot of damage done. But yet he said, hey, there is a place at the table for you. And it really impacted me. Um, because I was really, really struggling. Because, I, I mean, I had seen some stuff happen that were just crazy encounters. Okay, so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. My experience with George Wood. He has passed away this morning with cancer. Um, to my understanding, that is what he, was his desire. Um, he, uh, for the last few months, has really been pushing on either I go home or I go home. And he was completely ready to just go home. And so, you know, I mean, you, you can't force someone to stay that desires to, to be in heaven. You know, and, I mean, he was 80 years old, and so yeah. Anyways, I've been also, I, I, I got a copy of The Assemblies of God um, at the Crossroads. This was written in 1989. Um, and let me find that page for you. Because um, there's something in it I really think, turned right to it, cool. Okay, this is something that's in this. This is written in 1989. It says this, it says, The Assemblies of God continue to possess a belief in the operation of prophecy today, but it is a practice that is in jeopardy in many congregations. As Pentecostals seek to become more and more like their evangelical cousins, prophecy is, rela uh, prophecy is replaced by preaching and the prophet by well-educated pastors. Uh, that's... I believe was prophetic in and of itself because that is that is today where we are. What was said in 1989 is a lot of where we are. Is that you know one of the things that you know and that goes back ties back into what I'm saying about that that prayer is we had turned we have turned away from prophecy and we've turned away from the prophetic. But yet. George Wood was saying, hey, we still need you guys, even if you make us uncomfortable, even if it's a little messy. We still need the pe people like you to counterbalance. I mean, he didn't say this, but this is the implication to counterbalance the the education, the, the teachings, the the, you know, the preaching. And, the, you know, we need people that go here. We heard from the Lord. That also say, well, but the Bible is still the authority. And and that you, we needed both of those. And that was that's the that was the the real thing I took away 
from when George prayed for me that day is we need we need you guys and you guys and you need us and so anyways there's my thoughts on the passing of George Wood God bless you and there must be more